The Senate has resolved to debate the ruling of an Abia State High Court ordering the deletion of Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act. The Senate's decision was sequel to a point of order raised by Senator Thompson Sekibo representing Rivers East Senatorial District on the matter. Senator Sekibo, who came under under Order 10 and 11 of the Senate Standing Order, urged the Parliament to treat the matter with a sense of urgency and debate it immediately. Because of a judgment that was delivered in Abia State, I think just uh, last week, that's why I'm coming with this order. They, I don't have anything against the judge, but Mr. President, the difference, what the man is relying on in his judgment is not the interpretation of the Constitution. The Constitution defines for us who is a civil servant and who is a public servant. It does not include political appointees. It does not. More so, Section 4 gives us the power to make good laws. And in our mind and our mindset, any law we are making here is a good law. Now, Section 228 gives us also the power to make certain laws to guard the independent National Electoral Commission so that she can effectively discharge her function. This Senate, here and now, look into the issue concerning the ouster, the attempt by the court in Abia State to oust the, some sections of, uh, the, of the bill we just passed into law concerning the, issue, the, the issues surrounding the, uh, public, uh, the public servants in politics and who want to run elections and all issues there too. I second it and ask that this Senate discuss it here and now. Senator Omar Gege, who presided over Tuesday's plenary, suggested that lawmakers delayed the debate until the next legislative session. He said this is to accommodate the absence of the Senate president and other legislators who weren't present to also participate in the debate. After listening to the contributions of other lawmakers, the Senate resolved to suspend the debate until its next plenary sitting on Wednesday. The reason I took this decision is because I want a fuller house. I want a fuller house for this debate because this matter is very, very fundamental and it would be good to have the input of all senators. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure that people had notice. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that people were privy to the fact that these discussions will arise this morning. So I think it's in the best interest of this chamber that we give all of our colleagues or as many of our colleagues as possible the opportunity to show up tomorrow and make their input. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.